everybody welcome back to my channel as you guys are seeing by the title of today's video I am bringing you all a skincare routine because I really need to do my skincare right now because my skin is breaking out so bearing in mind I do my skincare on the daily only on the night time because I do not have time to do it on the morning but I do have quite a few painful spots on my chin so I thought I'd kind of make it into a video because Skincare is very important. If you guys you do not do your skincare, you need to buy some skincare bits and start doing it because you will regret it when you're older, when you're all wrinkly, and then the rest of us have lovely, nice, the younger looking skin. But you know, yeah, so I'm going to be going through what products I use. I do have oily skin, so I do use products suited to my skin and a lot of these do work for me. I'm still kind of trying a few things out. But yeah, before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below. Also subscribe and without further ado, let's get on with the video. I apologise if the camera is wonky, but you know what, it's fine. So basically what products I use, I use the Severe Forming Cleanser. This is for normal to oily skin. It's fragrance free, which is really good. You can, can dry your skin out having like a lot of fragrance products that has alcohol in fragrance stuff so it's good to have something which does not have any fragrance in it I also use the Garnier Aloe Vera Toner because this is really good, highly recommend that then I also use the Crichton's I never know how to say this in my vlogs but it's called the Salicylic Acid and it's an intense serum and it's got 2% of the acid in it and it basically targets breakout uh, pores and blackheads which is very good for oily skinned people like myself. I also use the T-Zone blackhead scrub because I need to use this first scrub. Especially with getting a lot of spots and blackheads it's good to just keep on top of the exfoliation on my skin. Then I also use the Regina face moisturiser. So I am going to start off with cleanser. So I am going to wash my face. I'm going to be using the Erasure face cloth because you know, these are really good quality they're yeah, better than primark quality and it's just good for kind of wetting your face even taking product off so i'm going to do that with lukewarm water because if you use cold water it doesn't open your pores but if you use a really hot water it'll dry your skin out and damage your skin but the lukewarm is just the perfect temperature for opening your pores and not damaging your skin you know the college was good to me i learned a lot from college you know it was great so yeah I'm, I'm just gonna go along and wet my face as an old person would before they apply all my skincare products and then I'll come back and cleanse my face. I'm just gonna tie my hair back this part I'm using the Alter Hair Daisy Scrunch. This is so cute. I'm really hoping I'm in focus because this camera is a really awkward to focus because I don't have a little kind of flip screen to show me but yeah I look like a neck now. I did wash my hair this morning but basically the taps right here, as I said, the lukewarm water, not too cold and not too hot. The lukewarm, I'm just going to wait for it to warm up. Right, that's probably perfect actually now. Right, if I'm not doing it over the sink, it's going to make it really awkward. But basically, I'm just going to kind of go over with my face just the lukewarm water just to open my pores and kind of get any excess product before I do apply the cleanser honestly as you can see this area of my face is really congested it has just been you know, the time of the month for me so it's probably why I am breaking out a lot to be honest you normally get a few spots but never as bad as this but I think it's just because like your body goes through a lot doesn't it so like, it's probably just coming out of my skin plus I have been eating a lot of chocolate I have been drinking a lot of water surprisingly but I think you know, the chocolate kind of cancels it out a little bit and that's probably why I do have little spots but oh my god these spots on my chin are so sore to touch so I am definitely going to have to give myself a good exfoliation because I'm not going to lie I have not exfoliated my face in a long time it feels like. I'm using my Duvall Spin Brush. If you didn't watch my last kind of skincare video I did use a spin brush but I'm just going in with the CeraVe Cleanser. Everyone has been going on about this at the moment and I'm not going to lie before I started using this cleanser, I was using the Mario Descu Antibacterial Cleanser and that 
they do seem to work for my skin better but obviously your switching skin care products it can take a while for your skin to get used to it um, and when I try the new cleansers my skin automatically breaks out so I don't know what the top of that but I'm just going to go into this I'm focusing on my chin oh my god this spot is killing me early spring brush is really good I've only changed you know, the batteries you want I probably only have to change them probably every six months because it never really slows down until the batteries obviously go but I use this every day it's just obviously give your skin a bit of an exfoliation but not as good as face scrub I'm just going all over not too quick focusing on my nose as well because that nose is definitely in need of a good cleanse I think I've got a white head spot on my cheek so I'm just going to focus on that one I think that is enough early spring brush is really good I did have discount code but I don't think it'll be valid now but it definitely shop in the default website anyway right I'm just going to go in with some lukewarm water now and just wipe the product off right that's enough and all this cleanser is a gel so like it it does absorb into your skin very quickly but then it it can also be a bit of a pain to take off at times but as you can see I don't have any makeup on yeah but these cloths are lovely and soft as I said it is an erase your face cloth so it's like a good size skincare like it's very big and it's very gentle on the skin my camera just fell then I was actually really scared but basically I'm going to use the T-Zone Blackhead Fighting Facial Scrub because it's especially made for blackheads now I do have a lot of blackheads and spots so this is really good and it isn't too harsh it's tea tree and I, I personally love the smell of tea tree so I'm definitely gonna scrub my nose for now and on those spots especially on my chin I've got the two deep rooted spots coming at the same time you know the spots that are like under your skin and just they show up as two lumps like oh it, it's so much but exfoliation is really good because it, it basically obviously helps to heal spots when you use your skin it also gets rid of your dead skin cells it it helps to prevent the build up of dead skin in milia on your face um yeah it's just overall a really good product but you should only you really use facial scrub and no more and then two to three times a week because if you use if you use exfoliator daily it can eventually cause your skin to become overly sensitive and that can cause problems for later in life so only two to three times a week but yeah I'm just giving it a good exfoliation and you should be able to see a bit of erythema which is a bit of redness or pink on the face if it's basically the blood it comes from underneath the skin surface the only thing is it is an absolute pain to take off your face exfoliator but honestly it's so good when your face is all nice and soft so now I'm just going to go in with the same cloth and hopefully it'll all come off if there's no problem exfoliation is all done in my skin it looks more pink and it also feels a bit warm which is a good thing as well like they're very warm but that's like a good thing for healing your skin so now I'm just going to go with the Garnier toner you literally only need a tiny dab of this I'm just using a, a, a Primark oval cotton pad only need a tiny bit of this because it, what toner does is when you cleanse your face it it takes away the natural oils and basically it messes up the pH of the skin after cleanser your skin will feel as if it's lacking something um, and basically what toner does is it basically balances out the pH in your skin so after you use toner it'll basically make your skin feel normal again um, and that just basically helps just level out the pH in your skin and uh, stop it from becoming uh, too sensitive to stuff as well so you all need a little bit of that and that is easy as that now next up is the salicylic acid 2% I love this stuff it's actually from Paul Bargains for of two ninety nine, and I've actually bought the cleanser of this and the toner. Put this all over my head. Right. 
And then I'm just going to rub this in and this it basically helps to clear up spots and if you have a spot that, that is maybe like it's slightly open or has like a head like a white head on it it'll feel as if like it's attacking the spot you put in a good way and like it'd be like a tingling sensation but like, you'll wake up the next day and it won't be there anymore or hardly there I'm, I'm just going to put some more on my nose because this is obviously good for blackheads this sort of stuff things actually went in my nose now finally the final bit of my skincare routine the Neutrogena the moisturiser I've got what it was called then it's oil free which is amazing for all these skin girls like myself I, as I said earlier in this video oh my god I use the products that are suited for my skin type so if you guys may want to try these out when maybe you have dry skin um, they may not work as well for you but if you do have oily skin they will work anyway I'm just going to use this moisturiser I'm just looking in the mirror I'm just going to put this everywhere on my face I love applying moisturiser because it just makes your skin feel all nice and soft and smooth I've had quite a good day today guys, I've been to work, I've cleaned my room, I've been vlogging, I've had quite a good day. And I've also moved into a new room in the salon where I work as well, so it's all quite an exciting week this week to be honest. I mean, not clean, yeah, clean my room is an exciting, but it's, it, it's satisfying to do. Right, well, here it is. Skincare is all done. My skin feels very smooth and soft, especially after exfoliation, but it also feels very clean. And those two massive spots on my chin do not feel as painful as I did before, so it's very good. But yeah, here is the skincare routine. As I said, if you guys want me to film some more similar videos to this, or if you have any other video suggestions, please make sure to leave them in the comments. Also make sure to leave a thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Also make sure to follow my Instagram as well, alice.holmes underscore. And also subscribe and I will see you all in my next videos. Bye everyone.